Ever wonder how a web page you like was built? In this intro to page building with Elementor, you're going to see how easy it is to create cool pages. This is Cassie from Elementor. Welcome to our first steps tutorial. In this tutorial, you'll learn the secrets of how a page is built, play with editing tools to design your text and images, use page templates, and create your first stunning section all from scratch. I'm going to walk you through the first steps of page building. So let's dive in. So we'll begin by adding a new page in your WordPress dashboard. Under Pages, Add New, press Edit with Elementor. You can also take a shortcut in the WordPress dashboard. Just click Create New Page. And by the way, Elementor works with any theme. OK, so what are we looking at here? On the right side is the editing screen of your site. This is your design playground, where you can add and edit elements that form the layout of your page. And over here on the left side is the Elementor panel. Here are creative tools called widgets. You use widgets to add elements to your page, like headings, paragraphs, images, and videos. You can also search for a specific widget here. So when you start building your page, keep in mind you can either design the page from scratch by pressing Add Section, and then choosing different structures of columns, and then dragging widgets inside these columns from the panel, like this. Or many people opt for our pre-designed templates. So let's check them out. Click Add Template. Now if you scroll down, you'll see that we offer over 100 stylishly designed templates. If you click on this little magnifying icon here, you can preview a template before you add it. Not the one you're looking for? Preview another one. Once you find the one that you want, you can just insert it up here on the top right. We also offer search, so if you know the name of the template you're looking for, just look it up and insert it directly. To get an idea of the structure of a completed page, let's take a closer look at the anatomy of a template. Now each page in Elementor is comprised of sections. Now here's a section handle. This entire area is a section. This is also a section. Another section, and another section. And then inside the sections, you see you have columns, which you can identify by these black dotted lines. This is the column's handle here, another column. And inside the columns, you have widgets. Here's a text widget. Here you can see there's a video widget inside a column inside the section. Now the really cool thing is that basically you can move any element around. So let's duplicate a section. And then let's move it down here and delete it. You can do the same for a column. Go into the columns handle, duplicate it, drag it over here, or you can even drag it into a different section and delete it. And then you can do that for the widgets too. Duplicate, drag, and delete. Easy peasy. All right, ready to create your first section? So add new section. Now here, if you hover over the different structures of columns, you can choose if you want four columns, three. Let's start with two. See, inside our section, we have two columns. Let's start by dragging a heading widget into the left column. Go back to the menu of widgets. Now we can drag over a paragraph of text widget into the column. And let's drag in a button. You can see that you drag in the widgets according to the blue line indicator. Not where you meant it to be. Drag it down. You can also drag it into another column. or drag the widget back. OK, on this side, let's add an image. And to choose your image, you can either upload a file from your computer and select it here, or go into your media library and insert the media. But before we design the widgets, we're going to adjust the height of the overall section to create some more space. And by the way, this is explored more in a specific video. So let's click the handle here of the section 
which opens Layout, Style, and Advanced, three tabs that you'll be working with to customize your section. So under Layout, we go into Height, Minimum Height, and here you can toggle the amount of height your section has. You can also choose a specific number here, or just type it in. Let's try 500. And let's also set our content position to the middle. Now to get a sense of the space of our section, let's also give the section a background color. So let's go to the style, and then click on the paintbrush, and here you can choose a color. So you see, this is our entire section right now. You can make it green, black, let's make it baby pink. Now you can also give a background color to your column. You click on the handle, which opens layout, style, and advanced again. Go to style, click on the paintbrush, choose color. So here we're giving color to the column. And let's remove it. All right, so now we can go back and tweak our widgets. So let's click the headline widget handle, which opens three tabs, content, style, and advanced. Here we can set the alignment to the center, to the right, or to the left. Okay, let's continue to customize our headline widget. So click on the handle of the headline, which opens content, style, and advanced, the three tabs for your headline widget. Now remember that actually the section or column, if you click on their handle, it opens layout style and advanced. In general, when you're searching for design options, look under content for text editing, under style for colors, fonts, and most things that you'll need, and then advanced options for spacing and other advanced options. So click on the widget's handle, this blue pencil here, to open the three tabs in the panel to design it. You can also just type your headline text directly on the screen. Like that. And then under style, we can give the text some color. And under typography, we can change the font style. And we can also adjust the size here. You can also type in the number directly. There are some other parameters here that you can play around with. Just check it out on your own. Or you can reset back to the default settings if you need to. And you can do the same for the text widget under style. You can change its text color and all the typography parameters. Now let's design another widget, this time the button. Click on its handle to open its panel. You can also just type directly on the screen. You can align the button to the center or to the right. Let's keep it left. And here you can also adjust the size if you want. Under style, you can change the typography and its size and those other parameters that you have um, for the headline and text widgets. You can change the text color and the background color. Woohoo! You built your first section. Congrats! If you want to see what it looks like live, just click on this arrow here. Oh, and don't worry, your work is saved automatically. If you want to publish it and see your live site, click the green update button down here on the bottom right of the panel. Want to see what it looks like on mobile? Then check it out in responsive mode. Here we're in the desktop. You can see what it looks like on the tablet or mobile. And throughout the panel, you can find responsive editing tools. You can just keep an eye out for the mobile icon. You can find it in many widgets, for example here um, in your headline widget. If you go under style and typography, when you're tweaking the size of your font, if you just click here under size, it opens up three different options. Desktop, tablet, and mobile. Now you can see what it looks like on your mobile or return to desktop.
Also in the bottom panel, the circular arrow icon takes you to your history. Now the history is divided into actions and revisions. In actions, you can retrace your steps. You can click to return to an earlier edit as an alternative to using Control or Command-Z to undo. And then under revisions, you'll find all your saved versions. It autosaves after every change. So we see that every page is made up of sections, and this is the basis of page building with Elementor. Try out different widgets from the panel. You can press the dial keypad here to get into the menu of the widgets. So generally we've covered most of the interface. Ah, one last item in the panel is the hamburger icon. It brings you to a menu of advanced configurations. These options relate to the entire website and not to individual pages. Here you can set global defaults for fonts, colors, etc. Or exit to the dashboard. More details in another tutorial. Thanks for joining me for the first steps to page building with Elementor. In the next video, I'll go into more details about creating more complex sections and pages. We publish videos weekly. To become a professional, subscribe to this channel.